What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, so today I want to talk about why video production is so expensive. Um, you may be in the market looking for a production company to take care of a video project of yours, or maybe you want to get into the industry and don't really understand why certain things are so expensive um, and why it costs so much to hire a videographer or a video team. And I just want to start off by saying that even entry level gear is also pretty expensive for the average person. You know, you're talking about almost a grand uh, for just like a very basic entry level camera with a lens. And that doesn't include audio, lighting, or anything like that. Um, so it can get very pricey, and that's why it can be very hard to do projects for only a couple hundred dollars. Okay, let's break it down into three categories you have experience, business costs, and profit. Now let's just start with profit because every business needs to have profit in order to grow and we need profit in order to grow our team and to purchase higher quality gear so that we can provide higher quality products and better results to our clients as we move towards the future. We need to make enough profits so that we're able to afford new gear that comes out and courses to educate ourselves on some of the newest tactics for filmmaking and strategies to help our clients create better marketing videos or whatever videos they need to be done. I understand that people can see video production as just a hobby, but if you wanna start taking your business seriously and actually start marketing your videos and getting real clients and generating real revenue, then you need to understand that you're also working with another business that's gonna help you grow. Um, so if you're not willing to pay the, pay the premium, then I don't think you're really ready to grow in your business yet. Okay, next we have business costs, and these can include vehicles, employees, software, and many other things. But one of the biggest expenses is probably gear. You know, if you're looking at an entry-level camera, you're looking at probably $1,000 at the minimum just for the body, and then another $2,000 for a good or decent lens um, to pair with that body, um, and that's not including lights, audio, stands, or any of that stuff. So we're already up to three grand just on a camera. And if you wanna get gear that's up to today's standards and that's not five to 10 years old, you're looking at three grand just for the body. And then another one to two grand for lenses and you're also gonna wanna get a bunch of different lenses so you, that you have different focal lengths and uh, apertures so that you can get the exact look you need for your shoot. I'd say the camera that I shoot with is pretty budget friendly. Um, it's the Blackmagic Pocket 4K and that camera is around $2,500 how I have it configured with the body, the cage, the monitor, battery, and all that jazz just to make sure that it runs properly and it's exactly how I like it configured um, for shoots. And that doesn't even include all my audio gear, my stabilizers, tripods, um, lights, stuff like that. Once you add all that up, we're already up to about five grand just for a basic setup. My setup is a pretty budget friendly setup. Although it gets the job done, it is still on the cheaper end of what I could be looking at. And I know a lot of clients, higher end clients, want to shoot on RED, Airy, all those really expensive cinema cameras. But you have to understand that those are $40,000 just for the camera body, not even lenses or any other accessories that are needed to have the camera run. I mean, you literally might as well just go buy a, a car um, instead of the camera. And then if you wanna get a good tripod, gimbal, lighting and stuff like that, there's tripods out there that go for three to a thousand dollars just for tripod legs. Then you have to get the head on top of it, which costs another hundred to two hundred dollars and then depending on what kind of gimbal you want to get, you're spending anywhere from 500 to sometimes even like two grand for gimbals. So next we have experience. And I think this is probably one of the most undervalued aspects of a videographer or a production company um, because I think we see it as a very easy task to do certain things, um, depending on the job, obviously. But our clients have no idea how to do what we do and because we believe that it's so easy or simple for us to do, we can do it for a cheaper price. But in reality, it probably took you many, many years to get to the point where you're at. And that is very valuable. You know, there was, I saw this thing where it was a, a locksmith and it took him about 10 minutes to unlock this lady's door. And he was like, that's gonna be a hundred dollars. 
And she was like, $100? You just did it in 10 minutes. And he goes, yeah, it took me 20 years to do that in 10 minutes. So don't undervalue your experience because I know that it took you a very long time to get there and you are saving your client time and money. So hopefully that helped you understand why video production is so expensive and helps you understand what the value is of video um, as well. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.